Hey guys, Ginger here. Welcome back to my channel and today we are doing another installment of my newest series, Book Spy! So I'm sure as you can tell from the title of this, we are going to be talking about Sherry Lapina today and the books that I have read by her. Now I have not read her newest book which is Someone We Know I believe but it is definitely on my radar and I plan on reading it very soon so I will end up talking about it later on but for this video I'm going to be talking about the three books that I have read by her and my thoughts on them, what they're about, and if I would recommend them. So without further ado let's just get into talking about her books. So I first discovered Sherry Lapina with the first book that I read by her uh, back two years ago I think when I first started working at the butcher shop. It was the first audiobook that I ever listened to and after that I decided I wanted to read the rest of her books. So obviously from that I'm sure you know that I got a decent experience with the first book. Uh, so that is how I started reading her books and I am glad that I have been reading her books. I think she has a very good writing style which I will hit on again when I'm talking about them individually. So I am just going to talk about them from uh, the order that I read them in. So the first one that I read up until the last one. So the first book that I read by her I believe is the first book she wrote too which is The Couple Next Door and this follows our main characters Anne and Marco and they have just a perfect life pretty much. A great house, great jobs, great marriage and the perfect little girl Cora. But one night they go over to their neighbor's house to have a dinner party and a horrific crime happens and leads to the plot of our story. So we have lots of stories unfolding, lots of secrets, and everyone is realizing maybe they shouldn't trust each other and no one is as they seem as much as they wanted to believe everything was perfect. So like I said, I did read this on audiobook and it was my first audiobook experience and I thoroughly enjoyed it. I was kept interested throughout the book and this is a pretty short novel but it seemed a lot longer on the audiobook. And I think I am glad that I did read it on there, but I would like to dive into it physically at some point. Obviously, I liked the writing style. I liked the pacing and the character development, especially in the beginning when you're getting to know our two main characters, Anne and Marco. And I enjoyed the overall premise of the plot. I thought that the idea of the crime that does happen in here was intriguing and something that is a lot of people's worst nightmares, especially parents. And so that was intriguing. However, I personally didn't enjoy the way that the plot turned with the twists. Uh, I think that it was good and she read it what read it, wrote it well, but it wasn't my necessary cup of tea. So that was the only downfall to this one. However, I still enjoyed it overall and I gave it a 3.75 out of 5 stars which is a slightly above average thriller for me which is why I did buy the copy when I found it at a used bookstore for like $2 because I did want it on my shelf to have to talk about. So I would probably recommend this one if you are into more of a domestic type of thriller and it has some psychological elements as well but it's definitely pretty domestic so there's not a lot of gore or anything and it is very short like I said so if you haven't read Sherry Lapini yet you might want to pick this one up. The next two books of hers that I did read I read for the minutes back in August so I did read both of them about the same time but the first one that I picked up of the two was A Stranger in the House and I remember when this came out there was a lot of talk about it and a lot of hubbub and a lot, everyone was excited. Uh, obviously I didn't get to it when it came out because poor college kid but I found it at Goodwill actually for $1.99 in this nice hardcover edition so I picked it up. This follows our main characters Karen and Tom and they again have a pretty great life. No one sees anything weird about it. They are happily in love. But then one night Tom comes home and realizes that Karen has vanished. She has left her wallet, her cell phone. She's, she's just disappeared. 
And then he gets a knock on his door saying that she was in a car accident in a part of town that she would have never been in. And so we are like, what was Karen doing? Why was she there? And of course, she has lost her memory from this car accident. So throughout the story, we are unraveling the plot and what exactly Karen was doing and if she is exactly who she seems. We also have an intruder plot, which pretty much Karen thinks that someone has been in the house, thus the title. And so that might have something to do with why she had that freak out. And we kind of just start discovering what happened. And we do realize that there are some secrets that we probably uh, should have known. <laughs> and by we, I mean the main characters. So again, I liked the writing style. That's why I wanted to pick up another Lapina book. And some of the twists in here were pretty intriguing and enjoyable things I didn't see coming. However, this was probably my least favorite of her books. I didn't like the plot overall. I'm not really someone who likes the intruder plot, although I've heard good things about The Woman in the Window, which I think has some of those elements. And the overall just plot, like how the story ended up going and the big twists and all that stuff were not my favorite. But the writing, again, did keep me intrigued, so even though I wasn't liking what was happening in the book, I still read it fairly quickly and mostly enjoyed the journey of reading it. So this one, like I said, was my least favorite of hers, and I did give it a 3 out of 5 stars. And it's, again, more psychological domestic, uh, more psychological elements than The Couple Next Door, I would say, um, just because we're having some happenings in here that might cause someone to freak out and not know what's going on and honestly I would not recommend this one that's just my personal opinion but if you like the whole intruder plot and memory loss thing then you still might want to pick this one up just because it wasn't for me doesn't mean it's not for you and then the last one that I read is my favorite of hers and that is An Unwanted Guess. Again, I got this in a really great hardcover for like two dollars and oh, it makes me happy. So in this book we are following a series of guests that decided to go on a weekend getaway to Mitchell's Inn which is out in the Catskill Mountains and it is in the middle of winter time. So as you might guess there is a great big snowstorm and our guests are cut off from society and they can't really go out because of how bad the storm is so they are all in this hotel motel together and they find someone is killed murdered died you name it and so from there we just have lots of tension between the guests and a wondering what exactly happened to this character that died. Was she murdered? Was it an accident? And we have to pretty much survive this weekend until the storm subsides and they can go find the police and figure out what happened. What I liked about this book was that it kept me guessing. I did not know what was going to happen next and that is something that is great in a thriller. You don't want to know what's going to happen in my opinion. and You don't want to guess the twists. This is just like a classic whodunit. It reminded me so much of the movie Clue. So if you liked that movie, this one was good and I would highly recommend it. And I especially loved the different character perspectives. We weren't just following one character or a couple. We had, we were following everyone in this motel at the same time. My arm is getting tired. And so that added a, a whole new element of not being super attached to any characters. So you weren't like knowing what exactly was going on and you didn't know who to trust in this whole book and so that made me really like wow who is our perpetrator here because I didn't know and I didn't see the twist coming I didn't I didn't see who you know not necessarily who but what happened and I really enjoyed that so I gave this one a four out of five stars like it wasn't my favorite of all time and I might actually bump that rating up a little bit the more I think about it I did really enjoy it um the ending had a few flaws for me but I'm just picky so 
that's again just me but I would definitely definitely recommend this one for sure it was great and it has that murder element so it's not just a domestic it has like a classic murder mystery element so that was a nice change of pace from her other books for sure so these are the three sherry lapina books that i have read and i'm just going to recap which ones i liked the order i liked them in and then which ones i would recommend or if i recommend you read her so again i read the couple next door a stranger in the house and an unwanted guest all by Sherry Lapina and the order that I liked them in was I gave a stranger in the house three stars it was my least favorite of them and then next was the couple next door which was a 3.75 and then lastly my favorite was an unwanted guest which was a four out of five stars so I would definitely recommend that if you are going to read one you read an unwanted guest because it just was a great read overall and it had a lot of good elements in it that I think any thriller lover would enjoy. And I think that if you are a fan of Riley Sager or Ruth Ware, you know, the typical thriller writers, you would definitely enjoy this one. Also Claire McIntosh, I think they have some similar uh, writing style elements which was interesting to see to kind of compare them to other writer writers that I have written for or I have read <laughs> words are failing me I think that Sherry Lapina has a great writing style and she has done fairly well with all of her books I haven't rated any less than average so that's pretty good in my opinion Although three is not like the best rating, but still. I definitely recommend that you pick up one of her books if any of these plots interested you because they were all pretty decent. She had a great s series of little thriller novels here, so I would definitely recommend her. Thank you guys so much for watching this next installment in the series. I hope you are, en are enjoying it and I hope that you would like to see more in the future. I have some more authors up my sleeve that I would like to talk about. And let me know again in the comments below if there's anyone specific you want me to be reading so I can talk about them in this install in the next installments. But thank you guys so much, so much for watching. It means so much to me that you guys are all here on my channel. And it's just a fun, fun time. So make sure to give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you liked what you saw and want to see more in the future. But until that future, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.